Each team has one guy who's, you know, elite, if not two or three of those. Game on the line. Luke in trouble, and the Raiders end it. It was back. When you go against Denver, you go against Oakland. You just know every week, I mean, you got to bring your best. You're going against the best. Here comes Miller. The ball comes out. It's scooped up. Obviously, our team led by Justin, and uh, Dee's come along the last few years, and now he's, he's up in that level. It's can't get away. Dee Ford came steaming around. The blocker. It's, it's, a really tough, uh, really tough division, and when you have six matchups uh, against uh, that level of competition, you, you definitely know how you stand in the league. First and ten at the twenty. Game tied at thirteen. Quick pass. Kelsey gets a block. Fifteen trying to stay on his feet. He's ankle tackled. Mitch Morris is down. Looks like they're tending to the left ankle. Zach Fulton will, of course, take over for at least the next play. Kareem Hunt tries it right up the middle, and he gets pounded right away and driven down. The Chiefs have an injured player. It's Duvernay Tardif, I believe, and this is uh, this is a big issue. You never want to see your guys get hurt, and, and you know obviously it isn't good for anybody, but I think one of the great things that the organization has done is put a lot of good players in the room. You guys have pretty good depth. What do you attribute that to? Yeah, I think we're all in it together. I, I think it's... Uh, it's personnel department doing a great job. It's coaches coaching the guys up. We'll try to play out. Just make a little adjustment with your stuff. It's players and their willingness to, to learn. Wit, nice and low, man. Huh? Nice and low. Bending. I think it's everybody kind of working together on it. Being able to, to have backups who are quality players, I think is a pretty rare thing to you know, have eight to 10 guys in the O-line room who've all played and, and all played at a pretty good level. Cameron Irving, he started with Mitchell Schwartz. I'm really interested to see what Cameron Irving does tonight at the right guard. I let him go because I couldn't stop a turn. Yeah, sure yeah, yeah. Yeah. Oh, Coach Heck does a good job in the offseason of basically play next to everybody. So if you're able to uh, jump in there at a different spot, uh, it's not completely foreign to you. Baddest, toughest, most ferocious group out there. We hold no bat, okay? Hold out on three. One, two, three, one! Kareem Hunt gets it again. The rookie running back cuts back left. He's at the 40. Good night, Chargers! It's a 69-yard run by the NFL's new phenom! There's not too many other good feelings than seeing the running back running Scott free downfield. And, um, you know, in this league, that doesn't happen too often. Hunt at the 40 yard line, angling left 30. He's at the 25, 20, 15, 10, 5, touchdown. Yeah, obviously, the, the first few weeks of this year, Kareem was able to rip off some, some pretty huge runs. Kareem Hunt gets two blocks, trying to get to the edge. Trent Moore, 30 yard line at the 40. Hunt at the 45, at the 40, at the 35, and shoved out of bounds. And Kareem Hunt has emailed. A good block versus a bad block, there's so little margin for error. You know, if your footwork's a little bit off, if your hands are a little bit off, you definitely enjoy seeing a guy running downfield for a touchdown.